I would say yes, this training has, has helped me to build up not only myself, but to build up other leaders, to let them know that you know, it's okay to be bold, it's okay to have a voice, it's okay to, to put it out there and to fight the fight. It's such an amazing opportunity, especially within construction, to be in a room full of women. Typically, when we're in trainings, it'll be just a few of us in a room with a room full of men. And so it's just such a cool experience to have just a room full of women and not feel like we need to quiet our voices. It was that wow moment where, oh my God, there's another woman and she's a labor leader. I think once you see that, um, you kind of lean on that. And having other women to lean on, you know, we have strength in numbers. The word leader has always scared me, um, even though um, others have said that they have identified leadership qualities within me. So having this training to help cultivate what's inside of me so that I can project that into my work and encourage other women uh, to strive for leadership roles is, is definitely something that I, you know, I I'm passionate about and I'm looking forward to. There is room for women to be in higher positions of leadership and, and it feels more tangible and more real. You know, we are paving the way for not just the IUPAT, you know, our work is being noticed. It's just empowering to know that one idea can make such a big mark in everybody's life and um, we're looking at the entire United States and Canada. Going back 20 years ago, and where I've seen the IUPAT, how it's grown and how it's encouraging women. Yes, there's, we still have a long way to go. We still have a, a you know, long way to go, but um, I think we're getting there and it's slowly, step by step. So it means a lot to all the women. To know that we have a union that doesn't just say they wanna see more females in leadership and more females in rank and file, but they mean it. And putting a class on like this is the first class of any building trades leadership for women um, at this level and to be in the inaugural class and to know and read the letter from our general president saying how important he thinks it is, how he backs us, that means everything to me.